Today's topic is bursitis. Bursitis is the inflammation, swelling, or irritation of a bursa. There exist about 160 bursae in the human body. A bursa is a sac filled with lubricating fluid, which forms under the skin, found over the joints. They usually act as a cushion between areas where tendons and muscles slide across bone. The lubrication they add helps to decrease friction or rubbing during movement. When bursitis occurs, movement becomes difficult and painful over the inflamed bursa. Bursitis may commonly occur in the shoulder, elbow, and hip, but they may also affect the ankle, knee, foot, and the base of the big toe. Bursitis usually occurs around areas where repetitive movement usually occurs. Causes The cause may include repetitive motion. You may likely get bursitis if you participate regularly in physical activities that involve a lot of repetitive movement, such as throwing a baseball, running, lifting something over the head repetitively, or playing darts. Aging as tendons age, they are unable to tolerate stress and are easier to tear. Bacteria can affect bursae that are close to the surface of the skin. The most common bacteria to cause such may include Staphylococcus aureus, those with diabetes, certain kidney conditions, suppressed immune system, and those who suffer from alcoholism are at a higher risk. Bursitis can result from complications of certain diseases, such as gout, rheumatoid arthritis. An extensive period of kneeling on a hard surface for tasks such as carpet fitting or scrubbing floors. Trauma or injury from accidental hitting or banging of knee on a table. Symptoms. The affected joint may be painful. The pain may be gradual or sudden and severe. Look red and swollen. Feel achy or frozen. Hurt more when moved or pressed. Diagnosis. Diagnosis may include a review of your medical history, a physical examination, and testing if needed. During a physical examination, your doctor may press various spots around the affected joint to pinpoint whether a specific bursa is causing your pain. The doctor may ask about your hobbies or recreational activities, the kind of work you do, and if you have had a recent fall. Testing if needed may include Lab test. This may include blood tests to rule out infection or other conditions, or an analysis of fluid from the bursa to determine the cause of inflammation and pain. An imaging test is obtained to help exclude other causes, such as fracture or dislocation. If bursitis cannot be diagnosed with physical exam alone, ultrasound or MRI may be used. Treatment. Bursitis usually gets better on its own or can be treated at home. Measures such as resting the affected area, packing the affected area with ice, and taking pain relief will help to reduce inflammation, relieve symptoms, and speed up recovery. If these measures don't work, you may require injections. Corticosteroid drug may be injected into the bursa to relieve pain and inflammation. This treatment is always effective. Medication. For bursitis caused by infections, the doctor will prescribe antibiotics to be taken orally. Physical therapy. Therapy or exercises can help to strengthen affected muscles and ease the pain. Surgery. At times, an inflamed bursa may be surgically drained. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.